guys, Vincent Rose here, H2G Fitness. Just recording a really quick video. Uh, earlier today, I had a awesome question from a client, Mr. Chris Just. He was curious about what kind of food scale I use and uh, how that looks like. So anyhow, I'm doing some food prep for tomorrow right now. I'm actually about to use my food scale, so I figured I'd record a quick video for you, kind of show you what this looks like. Uh, the brand, to be honest with you, I don't think is important. Um, we got ours from our website, but you could go to, um, you know, Walmart and you can pick one up for about 20, 30 bucks. It's not a big deal. Um, but just for quick example's sake, um, if you're tracking your macronutrients and your calories and you're using MyFitnessPal to do that, you want to be accurate. And uh, I by no means was used to weighing my foods and being that detailed and specific. Um, but when I got serious about fitness, um, it's a definitely a good habit. Uh, to start, and uh, it doesn't take a whole lot of extra time or preparation. It just takes a food scale and a little bit of planning, and then once you know what your meals are, you can just make sure your macros are on every single time. So with that, I'll show you how this works. This is the Tupperware I'll be using. Put it on the scale. When I turn it on, it's automatically, if you'll see here, it's already going to zero it out. Um, right now it's on grams. I'll just switch the unit over to ounces, and then the very first thing that I'm going to weigh is my chicken so throw one of these on here right now it's at 5.9 literally just cut my chicken 6.8 and 7.4 7.6 getting there bam right at eight ounces which is my serving size moving on from there um, it's simple right now I'm gonna measure some stuff in grams I can literally come over here and click the unit button and when I do that actually when I hit here it'll zero it out again everything's weighed switch the unit over to grams my serving size for rice is 100 grams so I'm literally just going to start adding some rice here 80, 84, 86, 93, 96, 97, 103, went a little bit over, not that big of a deal, but I want to be precise for you guys, right now it's at 99, alright, and if you'll look, it's right here at 101 grams, I'm not going to be that nitpicky, um, it's close enough, the goal is 100, it'll be alright, I'm going to zero it out again, broccoli, next ingredient, if you'll come look over here, right now it's at zero, and... Let me go ahead and start adding my broccoli. I actually already pre-weighed this because I know I had to cut it. 60, 70, 90, 86. 99 grams. Very, 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 very close. And then the last ingredient here, um, which doesn't need to be weighed, but it does need to be measured, is the black beans that I'm using. Go ahead and... half a cup go ahead and add this in there and the very last thing that goes in this meal my secret weapon as y'all know my habanero jack bistro sensation I'm using a half of a link for this so I'll literally just cut this put that in there now let me show you something I just weighed that out it didn't take any time to do it and if you'll see over here this is my my fitness pal account focus in. Here's the meal that we just did. As you'll see, there's the sausage link at half of a link. There is the black beans at a half a cup. I just weighed that. There is the chicken breast at eight ounces. We're exact. Broccoli and rice, both 100 grams, which were very, 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 very close. And then my macros for the day, the calories, carbs, fats, and proteins, that's where I want them to be for this meal. And I know exactly that that's where they're at because I just weighed them, I just measured them. So um, it's definitely a good habit um, to start. If you haven't, um, it doesn't take long. It doesn't take a whole lot of extra effort. Uh, you don't have to invest uh, $100 in a nice scale. I mean, we got a little rinky dink $25 dollar scale guys and um it's good stuff so anyhow hope that helped chris and uh keep the questions coming i'm enjoying recording the videos uh if you will if this helped you if you can hit the like button that would be great uh, if you want to subscribe to the channel that would be awesome and if you want to leave a comment feel free to do so 
And with that, guys, Vincent Rose, H2G Fitness, the future is bright, something good is happening.